good morning i'm getting ready to go to meal no yates meal pond and uh, yeah i just need to ground myself this week is finally the week where i'm going to recharge and ground myself every week i say that and i fail every week because i start looking for a job because i have fear of missing out that there's an opportunity that i will miss and yeah last week has been the probably the hardest one although like i'm so scared to say hard or challenging or tough because you never know what's ahead but anyways yeah it's been a very interesting week so right now i just i need to ground myself desperately like i break things around me like weird stuff ha is happening around me so i just need to ground myself and center myself and i really need to be in nature do some like breathing exercises and stuff like that so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to journal self-reflect this week do some tarot and oracle card spreads because i just feel like i'm i'm losing it like i don't know i'm disconnecting from myself and i really lost the track and the right path for myself Per usual just want to show you what i got today at the grocery store so i'm going to make another curry but they didn't have broccoli so i just got this cauliflower it was chinese organic cauliflower that was the most expensive thing it was like five dollars then uh sweet potato which was also quite expensive dollar twenty oops dollar twenty nine but it's for the chips so i'll have three different potatoes ginger we're going to reuse it um thai chili peppers will be good for the curry then two types of mushrooms so i think i will be doing so for curry and then for asparagus quinoa salad and then soy puffs for curry and some garlic that we will be obviously using throughout the upcoming weeks and then i got some stuff at the michael's this is the uh, bread loaf pan so i think it will be easier for me to make bread in this thing instead of the dutch oven and then i got some notebooks so this notebook will be for like travel notebook travel journal where i'm going to put our photos destinations places we went and this will be more for like my spiritual development personal development self-growth notebook it will be more like theory and practical knowledge that i will acquire so it will be a long-term journal i really need something like that so yeah i'm glad i got it hello welcome to the new vlog it's been a long time since i filmed something life is pretty much the same i looked sweaty i went to the art museum and it was quite fun i was there with the person i met before we talked it was like such a nice walk we just like talked about life looking for a job <laughs> um hobbies which is very fun because she's also into like crochet not crocheting what am i talking about sewing and stuff like that anyways it was a nice walk then i went to trader joe i wanted to stop at barnes and noble just to look at one book but i said no <laughs> today's friday it's so freaking busy i wanted to get some flowers from trader joe but it got so like overwhelmed there so i was like we're going home which i happy i did okay per usual the grocery haul so i got this burrito again lettuce butternut squash this rainbow peppercorns i never tried them also i thought they were pepper cones but anyways quite excited to try it giant batch of strawberries i'm going to freeze them use them uh, for a salad and probably try to make like a little batch of ice cream cucumber avocado green beans and tomatoes i am going to make quinoa butternut squash green beans like some sort of a bowl and we'll see how it will go but yes i'm in my chef era so i'm trying new and different things today is by the way beyonce's album day right now i'm also editing my reaction to the album it's like 
quite hard to or it was quite hard to film i am happy i did it but the album is really good apparently she wanted to release cover carter before renaissance but she decided to switch and it just like makes sense to listen to cowboy carter and then renaissance like it just transitions very nicely with my house like either in between or at the end of the renaissance but anyways i really like the album i think it's a great album i love the song with miley cyrus it just makes me cry it makes me emotional it makes me think about mountains i also want to go somewhere near water and just sit in the car and listen to this album i don't know where i can do it in raleigh but it just like feels like a car album and i'm kind of considering maybe if they will be selling it at target to get it for the car i know i can play it on the spotify but with cd it will be just like so much different i don't know it's such an emotional and diverse album i really enjoy it good morning it's sunday march 31st and i'm at the beach with my husband he's fishing i'm just at the beach here it's so busy. I thought it would be like a very chill day with barely anyone here, but it's so freaking busy, which is fine. I still have like my little corner. I may change later on because the sun is so bright and hot, but it's quite nice, quite enjoyable. I don't know if you can see, but they have these stairs there, like spiral stairs, it's pretty cool.
Apparently there are also people who break windows now to steal your bag, so this is how my bag is going to be traveling with me from now on. It's Monday, April 8th. Today is a solar eclipse, so I'm quite excited about it. I don't have the glasses, so I'm just going to be... I may go outside, but I'll probably will stay inside though. I need to eat, I will meditate and journal and just will try to ground myself. I'm really tired of fear-mongering and everybody, not everybody, but certain group of people saying, oh my god, it's this and that, it's a sign like... It's solar eclipse, something that has been happening for thousands of years and can we just like enjoy it please? But anyways, I just came from the thrift store and I've been having this really bad headache since like Friday. I had them before but I never truly paid attention and when I had it like um, maybe a few months ago, I looked at Dobbin and said like migraine and I was like fine, okay cool, migraine. But it's been happening since Friday. Today I have very light pain, like it goes in and out. I feel like yesterday Saturday and probably Friday were like the worst days. I've been feeling very like fierce and fiery. I have many ideas. I feel like my head is about to explode with the amount of thoughts and ideas. That's my little setup for Eclipse. I am so happy with the Eclipse. Like, am I the only one who is so freaking happy? I'm not scared. It's just such a unique thing. It's I feel like it's getting a little bit darker outside. It's so freaking cool. I think I will go outside and just like film a little bit, just enjoy and soaking everything. But it's amazing. There's a lizard there, both of them are seeing him. They're so excited. I just really feel grateful to be here in this moment and it's new to me. I haven't felt like that for very long, so I'm just so happy to be here and experience this event and to see the sky change and it's it's magical and i'm just so grateful really full of energy and just so grateful to be here by the way update on the potatoes they are growing there are a bunch of them which is quite exciting. I think there's some dandelions growing in here too, which is okay. Also, we're going to have some berries this year, which is also exciting and nice. They're so good and delicious. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm just trying to do stuff around the house. I was supposed to go to the gym, but then it started raining and I already woke up late. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to stay home, do the things around the house and I will go to the gym tomorrow on Thursday, maybe Friday and Sunday. So that's my plan. And I promised myself to like work out at home because I need to build a routine at home as well. I got 20 plastic hangers uh, yesterday and I got five last week, I think. So this is from last week. And those are the hangers that are left. I definitely had to get more. I thought 25 would be fine. And I'm saying 25 because I also got five food ones for like jeans. This is what is left. I need to reorganize our closet and it's just so much work. This is the current situation as you can see. 
It's like my t-shirt, jeans. It's messy because I need to organize a lot of those things. I really need to work on my personal style. This is what I'm trying to do. Just explore who I am as a person and experiment. He's fine. You're not. You're in big, big trouble. Okay, who is it here? I'm going to the gym. Finally, I skipped actually two weeks, not one week, just two weeks, because I realized, okay, let's just continue with the skipping gym last weekend. So I, I just did. So I'm going to the gym today. I also have a job interview for government job and it's a temporary one so which is fine i'm fine with getting temporary job i'm fine getting government job, job for like 11 dollars. like i'm not even kidding but it's going to be online interview and the only thing i'm stressing out about is that the training starts mid-may and this is exactly when my course starts so but it's okay if i get that job that would be awesome and but yeah i'm not trying to run in front of the train as we say in russian i'm just so uh, waiting and my tree is on thursday today's tuesday i'm very excited though i just applied this because my face is super dry and now i'm going to apply this because it's super sunny and warm update on this deodorant it just ended like last week so i'm just using like scraps it's it smells good it worked well for me the only thing i did not like that it was very hard to wash uh, of your body and i would like scrub my armpits but um i would not buy it again it was a good one but i will keep exploring the deodorant area because it just ended also too fast for ten dollars and it's ridiculous that there's no deodorant in like five dollar department why are deodorants 12 or 14 dollars i'm legit looking into making my own deodorant and my own shampoo because those things are so freaking expensive also i just want to talk about eclipse how after eclipse certain things died inside of me for example just caring in general not about nature or i don't know the environment i do care about bigger things but just caring about what other people think caring about what i post online especially because my whole life i was told oh be careful with self-expression be careful what you post online what if your employer sees it and they don't want to hire you uh, me posting carefully did not lead me to getting or not getting a job and why should i care at this point i'm just like so tired we already work so much especially in the us people work like crazy there is nothing for like workers there is no protection for workers no respect for them but um yeah people here work so much and then they thought oh you cannot do certain things in your private life that's my private life like what do you mean and yes i'm putting sunscreen on my ears and behind my ears so what do you mean i cannot post certain things what do you mean i cannot dress up a certain way it's just such a weird concept personal life is personal life the fact that employers expect their employees to behave and act a certain way outside the job outside the hours that they get paid for is ridiculous okay i'll behave how you want me to behave but just like pay me how about that I wanted to show you what I got today. So I got bananas for like banana ice cream because my husband likes it. And just I will leave a few just to eat as a snack. Black beans, oat milk, 
We usually get Oatly, but they don't have it at Food Lion and it was on sale. Creamer, I honestly need to start uh, drinking less creamer because this is insane. But yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I don't remember what I said, black beans. Onion, another pack of green beans for Brazilian uh, black bean stew, which I'm excited to make. Kombucha because I was thirsty. Olives, this is some uh, like organic olives i tried this brand before and i liked it i'm kind of skeptical about the organic ones but we'll see corn powdered garlic and lemons and i'm actually going to make chipotle bowl i just need to make rice that's why i got rice and corn i'm quite excited i'm extremely hungry but yeah this is a mini haul all of it was 30 dollars that's so freaking expensive oh and of course i got coconut i forgot to tell you about that oh and i got also ground beef for black bean uh, stew It's a cooking vlog, so we have a uh, veggie broth going on for the cats. My first time trying to make it. I'm vegan, I don't know how to make meat broth, but I would be open for that. But for now, I just have these ingredients. I double checked, it's all safe for them. And I just noticed that Pepe likes to have his wet food even more liquid and wet. So I'm just going to try to make it. Here we have black beans going for the black bean stew from Brazil, Fejuada. I think it's called. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. I actually want to cook it and uh, show the picture to my Brazilian friend. I think she'll be surprised. But yeah, it's been on my list for some time and finally I decided to make it. Then I'm prepping this for the blueberry muffin cake. But I think this time I'm going to do chocolate instead of blueberry. So I'm quite excited to see how this will go. Crazy hair as always. Let me stop because I don't want to spoil my hit. But no, I downloaded the garage band and decided to make music because I always wanted to make music. I always wanted to learn how to play a music instrument. And I actually used to learn how to play the guitar, but it's so hard. I also used to learn how to play um, uh, like electric piano. Again, it was hard. Right now, I don't have any music instruments, the guitar that I used to play on um is in belgium and it's actually my sister's guitar but anyways she doesn't play it so and i didn't bring it with me which i regret but anyways i was thinking like who stops me from doing things no one and i think i already talked about the fact that i accepted the fact that i will not be a grammy winner i will most likely will never win an oscar <laughs> Uh, my art will not be in the galleries at MoMA, I don't know, whatever. So who stops me? No one. I think we as human beings have such a shame of being the beginners at especially a later age, especially when it comes to creative things like singing, expressing yourself, dancing, ballet. I see a lot of the things like, oh, I really wanted to be a ballerina when I was a small child. Um, go now go explore those things now and it's just like so fun to explore and experiment the moment i let go and it actually happened after the um, eclipse the moment i let go of definitions of success and what an adult should be doing i felt like i really became so free maybe it's temporary but i'm not going to waste this time i'm going to do the things i like and i made this trick i still need to learn how to mix in garage band and stuff like that but i use the loops and it was such a creative, cool thing to do. And it's been so much fun to do that. I, I'm just enjoying it. Don't let anyone else and your own uh, stereotypes and your own negative patterns to stop you. Because it's just like, I don't know, it's so much fun to create and explore. Create for yourself. If you don't want to post your art, don't want to post your music, just create for yourself and I'm pretty sure you will find freedom in that. I really want to learn a music instrument. I told my husband there is no way I'm dying without learning how to sing and without learning how to play a music instrument. It's not happening. I'll be on my deathbed and if I don't know how to sing and how to play guitar or piano or both, mm -mm, we're staying girl. I, I can't, I can't. I also need to learn Spanish. Um, if I don't do like these three things, I can die. <laughs> 
but no just have fun with it and uh, yeah just so exciting but i'm just experimenting and i really want to make something that i like and i've been dancing and vibing to the music that i made for some time i just really enjoy that it's so much fun i'm making a lunch um roasting potatoes with rosemary I got my fresh rosemary for the potatoes with rosemary. Hopefully that will be enough. Also look at this. Berries are coming. We do have some competition in here, some bunnies and squirrels and obviously birds. So I have no idea how much will be left for us, but this is the current situation. I actually made my first iced coffee i don't like iced coffee because i feel like it's just a waste of money to pay like half of the cup is ice so i usually drink it at home and i feel like iced coffee also needs way more sugar and creamer but i just was a little bit in the mood so i made this huge batch but honestly half of it is like milk and creamer obviously vegan and it's still not sweet enough but you know what i will just enjoy it Just had my interview it was very friendly and very fun i think that would be a nice position but if it doesn't go my way it doesn't go my way it's absolutely fine i think for this experience i already know what i want and what i don't want so i'm just excited for what's coming and it is what it is <laughs> I wanted to show you different beans I got at Patel Brothers. First of all, black beans. This week I cooked black beans from scratch by myself and that was cool. I really enjoyed it and it was such a like easy process. So I decided to get a bigger pack because it's just cheaper and it's way more than in the stores like Foodland or Harry's Theater. I got those beans, then I got these beans. And I got these beans. All of these beans are new to me, except the black beans, obviously. So I will try them and I'm very excited to cook with them and explore new flavors even more.
Hello, it's Wednesday. I just came home from the library where me and my study partner, we were studying, preparing for post licensing for the first part of it. We've done a lot, which is amazing. I think that was extremely helpful, but we'll meet next week to continue to study. So that's good. I feel less stressed when I know that we actually prepared. I went to Trader Joe just to get some basic stuff for salad. But I have some leftovers, so I'm going to make another chipotle bowl, which I'm very excited about. And then there are just like some stuff around the house I need to do. I need to read. And it's possible later in the day I'll go to <laughs> Frankie to the library to pick up a book. But it started raining and I'm not really adamant of driving in the rain. Although it's not super bad, but um, Frankie. Oh my God, I've been out for a few hours and he's just like so affectionate right now. I feel so much better compared to March. I just feel like fun and like myself and more confident and even dressed up a little bit and put a necklace on, put some makeup and I don't know, I'm just like, I feel good, you know? I have this one life and I feel good. I want to live this life confidently. I spend so much time to live according to others and the expectations, but um, yeah, I don't feel the need to do that anymore. Like, I just want to be myself. It's so fun to be me, so fun to build my world and explore the corners of my world. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm happy that April has been positive in that department. I just came with those inspectors here. You can just never relax. Wow. Oh my god. But yeah, today at Trader Joe, I got tomatoes. I got this salsa because I have some um, chips from Patel Brothers. I think that would be nice with it. I got corn, lettuce, avocado, strawberries, polenta. Finally, I'm going to try to make Pringle and black beans. So, yes. I'm editing my second part of the March vlog and I'm rewatching it. And there's the big follow up boy section. I just can't. The amount of times I rewatch the videos from the concert, like. Hold me like a grudge. Yeah, yeah. We love follow boy. I love follow boy a lot. Can you see all these berries here? It's just so cool. I don't remember them last year, but it's possible that they grow every other year. And there is more and more. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little snake. I mean, maybe it's a worm, but it does look like a snake. Oh my God, look at that. It's so freaking pretty. 